Welcome back guys, we're back in with the Minecraft tutorial and this time we're going to be going over how to install holographic displays on our server. Now if you're not sure what holographic displays is or if you haven't used it yourself, it's a way of displaying holographic displays funny enough. You can get anything from written stuff to icons, you can even get floating items um, in these sort of holographic displays here. Um, and you can be displaying rules, areas where people have got to visit, you can use it as navigation saying say here, go to this part of the server, mini game 1, mini game 2. And you can also do stuff with placeholders and actually display how many people are on each world. So you can use this with like multiverse core and stuff like that, you can let people know how many people are in a certain world from sport. Um, I used to have it on my server that we had four or five different worlds and all of them had a holographic display displaying how many people were in each one. That way if you want to go into a certain mini game, you want to see which one is the most populated, you can just use that. So what we're going to need first, and of course that's the server, if you haven't got one yourself head over to seekerhost.co. You can get yourself a really reasonably priced server, anything from one to hold you and your friends with, uh, to a huge custom server to hold hundreds of players, loads of mods and plugins. There's a whole load of server guides here on Seekerhost, server tutorials, easy installation ddos protection and all of that good stuff but anyway let's get back to the video now and once of course you have got your server we're going to want to stop the server why do we stop the server that's because we want to stop any files being corrupted whilst we're sending them over what we're going to be doing is we're going to be downloading the plugin and then uploading it to our server so once we've got that all stopped and i just want to point out i'm using paper 1.16.5 um the actual plugin is native to bucket however it works very well on paper and in fact i have also used it on some uh, a few spigot servers it seems to work quite well however paper is really good i do suggest that i'm using the latest version of papers um, good for any bucket or spigot plugins together so you sort of get the best of both worlds so now if we head over to the download site of course I'll leave all the links in the description and we can just go over to the blue latest file here for the holographics displays if we just have a quick look through here um, it works all the way up from 1.8.3 to 16.5 which is the latest version as of now as you can see there on the picture we you know it's displaying how many players are in a current world voting systems pointing to where people are these cool icons and many more things like that. Not only that, holographics displays is actually used in lots of mini games as well. Some of the mini games that I've played before or we've done videos or tutorials about, we use this as well, the holographic displays, to display stuff. E.g. you might have a cauldron and you might want cauldron or uh, how many people have died or um, jump into here, particularly for a bridge battle mini game. So it's actually a very well used um, plugin right here. So let's just go ahead to download latest file, which is uh, the file that we're going to need to upload. Of course, I have already downloaded this. If it does uh, tell you that uh, you're not sure if it's safe, it's blocked, you can keep this it is safe it's had almost two uh, two million two hundred thousand downloads so far i've been using it myself for a little while and it's fine so keep that i'm not actually going to keep that i'm just going to delete it because i've already downloaded this slightly earlier and it is in my downloads file now you also will have it in your downloads file if you want to move it if you've got a plugin folder just move it there um just for ease of access in a second and another thing that i just want to point out now is the the it's not quite a wiki page but it's the information page for the holographics displays it's really good and i do suggest i'm going to leave the link for this as well in the description um obviously you got installation here however we'll go through all of this anyway we've got a basic tutorial um, which will show you anything from how to make the flashing letters deleting holograms floating items you can have like diamonds and swords floating up there you can even create images like this however we won't be uh, covering this subject otherwise the video will just take forever and of course how to use placeholders and then it's got a very neat section right here the advanced which will show you how to do the floating items the placeholders um, the animation stuff like that however let's get back to it so let's head over to files we're going to go to FTP file access of course if you do prefer using FileZilla just use FileZilla uh, we're going to do the same thing as you would for any other plugin so open it up open the plugins folder and then drag and drop it over into there however we're just going to do it through the site right now here on seeker host and we're going to go down to plugins and then we're going to head over to upload of course you can see i have a few plugins already um however we don't have the holographic display so let's go download that let's go to choose file and on my downloads list you're going to see it's the latest one right there it's going to look like that's a jar file and it's holographic displays double click on this one right here and then we're going to go to submit this actually works on its own it doesn't need any other plugins um, of course they do have other plugins that will work with it however you don't actually need them to get started off with so there we go, we downloaded it. Now if we go back to our server and just start it back up, um, it will now load up the plugin as well. So we've got the tick on our server. If we go to the console, we should now be able to type in plugins and we should see that we have all three plugins. Yep, holographic displays, Iridium, Skyblock and Vault. We won't be uh, bothering about the other two, but of course the holographic displays, uh, what we're going to use it for right now, it's just a way to let people know um, what they can do to actually start off on their Skyblocks. You have to type in a command. So that's going to be perfect. As soon as people spawn in, they can see the holographic display telling them 
we can, we'll pop, pop a little neat one up with, um, I don't know, like a diamond or something like that, just so you're able to do that as well. And we're just going to move it, delete it, create one, and just show how it all works. So with that, let's actually head in game. I'm going to say bye on the camera now because we don't need my face anymore. We're just going to check out the footage, the commands, and go through all of them things. So I've logged into my Minecraft now. We're going to the multiplayer, and we've got the server right here. So it was a test server from the other day. Let's just go ahead and join onto here. Of course, it's a Skyblock server, and as I said before, we want to let people know um, they've got to do a certain command, then they can go onto their island. Oh, looks like I have started on my island, so let's uh, come off of here. Awesome, so we're here, and basically this little survivor world is very small, and it's just basically an entrance way to come into the sky block. There's a command that we have to do called forward slash island create, so what we want to do is just create a holographic display right here, just letting people know that. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come into the sky, exactly where we actually want the top of the hologram to be placed. We're going to do a forward slash, we're going to do HD, create, and then you're going to think of the name. This name, of course, you're going to have to remember, and it's also going to be good to reference back to if you need to find the sign. I'm just going to call this sky block right here, because it's going to be the um, telling people how to get onto sky blocks. Let's do HD create sky block. Now, what you're going to see is going to pop up with a little message here, default hologram, um, and of course, we can go ahead and change this now. Um, you can't actually delete this first line until you've made another line, so it needs to have at least one line on there. Um, but if you press forward slash, you're going to see that we actually have a very neat way of doing this. Um, if we just now do HD edit and then sky block, so just take that out, replace that with edit, so it's HD edit and then the name of the um, holographic display that you created, it's going to bring you up with this extremely helpful um sort of menu here. You're going to see it's got HD add line, remove line, set line, insert line, read text, read image, sky block, etc. So now let's say I want to add the first line to my um, to my holographic display over here. I'm just going to click this and it's going to insert it quite nicely into there. If I just take the text part away and I'm just going to put sky block. In fact, this does work with color code. So what we're going to do is we're going to color code it as well. So let's do um, a yellow and let's make it large as well. Now, if we put sky block now, press enter, you're going to see that we're going to get a yellow sky block right here. Now, what we can do to get rid of that first line is we can do a forward slash, we can do a remove line, and of course, it is the first line on there. So if we do remove line one, it's going to remove that. Now we have a very neat sky block holographic display. It sort of follows you around. Unfortunately, you can't actually change that, so it will always be facing in the player's direction. So now how do you add more lines? Of course, you use the same HD add line right here. You can type this out or you can just click that. Super easy to actually just click that and just go ahead like that. Um, let's say we want to add a line now. Let's do a blue color and let's add some lines underneath. As you can see, as easily as that, we have now gone ahead and added the blue lines. Now, let's say we wanted to remove a certain part with a remove line. Let's do a forward slash, and you can come to remove line. Um, let's say we want to take the sky block part out. We didn't actually like that. That's going to be line one. If we want to take the blue line out, that's going to be line two, and so on. So if we want to take the blue line out, we're just going to do two, going to press enter, and the blue line is going to be removed. Now, if you want to change a line over, so you don't want that blue line anymore, but you don't want to have to delete it and add another one, you can set line. So if we do a forward slash, we're going to use the HD set line sky block right here. So if we click on that, of course, it's going to be HD set line, the name of your holographic display. And then we want to change the, the line number and the new text. So we want to change the blue line. That was line number two. So we're just going to type in two here. And we're going to type in the new text. Um, so let's say instead of lines, we now want to go... Um, for a green, lots of equal signs right there. So let's press enter, and as you can see, it's now going to be swapped over. So we now have sky block with that instead. We're not going to go through the read text or read image files here. It's a bit more complicated, and to be honest, quite unnecessary. I've never had to use it so far anymore. If you do want any more detailed ones, I'll try and find another tutorial that's a little bit more detailed, and I'll add that in the description. Last but not least, you have the HD info sky block. If you tap that, it's going to give you all the information of your sky block. And another neat feature, if you do HD list, it's going to give you all the lines as well and also where the placement is. So as you can see there, we have X, Y, and Z. So if you ever get lost in the world, you're really not sure where it is, you can do a HD list and then come over and find it. So now what if you want to add in some placeholders? And I'm not going to go through all of the placeholders. Of course, um, you can use the link in the description. Just check them out. However, I will place one in the line just so you can know how you can do it. So we're going to go back to HD, add line, and then of course your holographic display. So this is going to be called Skyblocks. That's the one that I named it. Now what we want to do um, for this instance, I'm just going to do how many players are on this world right now. Now. So I'm just going to type in a little uh, message saying players online and then you're going to insert the placeholder. To find these placeholders, just use the link below. You'll be able to find the place or the different placeholders that you can use. Some do require um, a different plugin. However, most you're able to use uh, just as it is. So if I do these little curly brackets and online right here and I press enter, it's now going to show me players online. 
Um, of course, there's only one of me, so it's going to be showing one. If I log out, it would go back to zero, but I can't do that, so then I can't show you. If you want to show how many uh, the max players on this particular world are, again, you can do HD, add line, the name of your holograph. Then we're going to do uh, max players. That's just the message that I want to put out there. Um, and then the actual command's going to be these curly brackets, max underscore players right here. Um, so press enter there, and you can see the maximum players that we can add on here are 24. Now, before we get on to the actual items or floating items on here, let's go ahead and move this over so let's say you've set up all your sign however you want to move it down a little bit you want to move it up a little bit it's just not doing well in that position so what we're going to do is we're just going to move over to the place that you actually want it to move to we're going to do hd we're going to do the name of the holographic display and then we're going to write move here all in one and we're going to press enter so to move this over let's just come to the new place that we want it to be we're going to do forward slash we're going to do hd move here and then the name of your holographic display, which is Skyblock. So as you press enter, you can see just by my feet, it has now been moved. So this is a bit of a better space. It's not quite so high up. So this is a bit of a better space and not so high up. You can do this anywhere. You can, of course, move it, go anywhere along the map. Um, again, that command was HD, move here, and then the name of the holograph. If I press enter, it will move here again. So now what if I want to create a little floating icon? Let's go put a diamond underneath. Why not? It'll look a little bit better. So I'm just going to go right underneath this sign, um, forward slash, and you're going to type in HD create test being the name. I'm just going to name this test just for reference. If you do want to name it something else, you could actually just put diamond um, diamond one, just so you know that this is the first diamond you put down. That's going to be the name of it. Then icon and then the actual item name. So if I press enter here, you're going to see I'm going to get a little diamond. Now, if we want to remove that diamond, we can go to HD remove diamond one, and that's going to remove it right there. The same with the skyblock hologram. If we go to HD remove, and then we want to remove this in particular one, this is why it's important to actually remember the names. We're going to go to skyblock, so that's the name of the hologram, and we're going to press enter and it's just completely remove it. Now, if you want to do a different icon, let's just go back to create the diamond. Just take this diamond one out of there, and I'm just going to put stone as an example and as you can see we now have a floating stone um, if we do it over here and we do diamond block instead of diamond you're going to get it like that so just remember to put an underscore if it's going to be um, two different words so diamond block if it's not just put the single one in there and you're going to be able to create it a few more commands that we do have of course is the hologram create as well as the remove you have hd delete so you can do hd delete um, either whatever hologram it is or the icon using the name you have hd edit of course that is going to be the main one to edit it so if you ever want to edit any of the past ones you do hd edit and then the name so if i do hd edit diamond 2 it's going to be bringing me to this if i um, type in the name of this block right here it's going to bring me to that and then you're going to be currently editing that if you are looking for this particular uh, command block bit here it's hd help and of course you have got hd teleport you can then teleport to that exact hologram so if i instead of doing hd edit diamond 2 if i now put hd teleport diamond 2 it's going to take me exactly to that hologram so it's going to save you a lot of time actually looking for it we've already done the hd move here of course do hd move here hologram name and it will move that hologram to exactly where you are we then have hd align hd copy and of course hd reload if something's not working we're not going to go too much into them because um, they really do go unneeded however we now have our working holograms you can go ahead and go ahead and tell people exactly where to go um, how many people are in each world and lots of other fun stuff on your server so thanks again for watching we'll catch you next time on the next minecraft tutorial bye bye